Oh, it is the post show. <laughs> I'll be right back. Gotta use the bathroom. I gotta use the bathroom too. Son of a biscuit. Summon biscuit. Summon biscuits here. How you doing, Summon Biscuit? Thirteen gigs. How'd you guys let all these questions build up? Holy crap. Um I don't have a good answer for that. Well, this is my only chance to answer them, so let's rapid fire through this in the post show. Okay. Up. Well, I'm going to use the bathroom, then we can uh, you right. just answer. Just just start answering them. And, uh, All right, I'll just start answering them. <laughs> I'll go chronological order. So let's see. Jay Dota said, please remember this channel is not for discussion of questions. We leave that for the podcast. First of all, Jay Dota, that's not a question, so I'm going to skip that one. Uh, CSAM says... How do you avoid Mega Elixir Syndrome and slot a meta into uh, Entropy or use a Sphere? I left Arciella on 12 until tonight. Holy shit, these questions are old. Uh, and I tried to run Arciella Emperor and uh, Cloud of Darkness for Entropy 13. God, I'm dumb. Swapped M for Pinello and cleared, but I feel like COD there is a waste. Holy shit. Okay, so let me parse this question. I think the question ended three sentences ago when he says, how do you avoid mega elixir syndrome when it comes to meta and entropy? The answer is I am lazy. I don't care if the characters can clear the tier. What the fuck do I care about saving them for later? I'll just pull new characters then. Like uh, I'm pulling a lot more during the LDBT era than I ever thought I would. I didn't know I would pick up Gabronth, but chasing Von LD, boom, there he is, you know, like, Chasing Shantoto, a lot of people got Alize, so you you never fucking know. You know, with Noctis, you guys might pick up um, Leon EX Plus or something. There's always going to be... I guarantee you everyone's going to have more characters than they fucking planned on, and you can just shove people into Entropy at this point. So, you know, stop stop overthinking it. This is, this is too much stress to have over a uh, crossover fan service game. Uh, Inkwelder says, do you think the cause of people valuing max brave above attack boost as a result of garbage time goggles i remember this question this is attack on me because we are arguing over fucking summon passives uh i think it was alexander summon passives and i think he was saying the max brave that alexander gives is actually very negligent and only a couple of hundred you throw on buffs on that even a hundred percent max brave up that's only going to be like a thousand five hundred max brave tops it's never going to make a difference first of all Fuck you, Ink Welder. You don't get to tell me how to play my game. I'm going to take that 2% max brave boost over the fucking uh, 10% more brave damage over the target all because I can. And I guarantee you it will never make or break a run. So I'll put whatever garbage fucking passives I want on my characters, okay? Fucking Black Cloud told me he put, like, every single elemental boost on the summon boards on Realm. You know, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, and he's cleared all content. So I don't think I can go wrong at this point. Um, next question. Uh, hey, Rex uh, hey, who, who, there is uh, Zeno and Rez. Uh, we're we going to have some special, I think Zeno probably needs to jump into uh, chat here, right? Um, oh Zeno. no, no, Zeno is not fucking allowed in here. Macknell, Macknell, if you want to come into chat and fight about what we've been fighting about in chat, you're welcome to. But no, not not Zeno. Like let's let's. But Macknell, you're you're welcome to come in. I think uh, I think I think it'd be real fun. I think uh, if Zeno wanted to jump in chat here and uh, share share some. All right, uh, Rez, I think Rez, you can. But I don't have any more alcohol, so I'm not going to match you. I don't think it'll be as fun. <laughs> but if you want to come in. Sure. Rez is always invited. Yeah, yeah. Black Cloud's here. Next question. Empire. Rex Yoshi Pasta says, would you survive the LDBT era if your luck is garbage on getting the new weapons? I truly believe that if you don't fall for the pressure of challenge quests, this will be a breeze to get through. It's just very hard not to pull for four months. Very understandable. And even if you did want to complete as many, much content as possible, uh, a few select pulls will get you through it, like Amita Tellian, Dash, Gabronth, all very good pulls. You could probably coast the next couple of months. There's no coast. real chaos that like coast. needs Ultimisha or coast. needs Emperor or needs like Edward or um, Strago or whoever the fuck else comes out coast. of that nine, I guess. You know, like they're just treading water now. So I think if you plan 
what, 75? You, we're, I think they did the math. We're getting more than 75K gems a month on average now. So you could get a pity a month. And guaranteed, if you pity like a certain character each month, you could probably coast through uh, LDBT until Lufania and then kind of think about it. Um, build up your uh, BT tokens, I guess. You know, that'll happen. Uh, it, oh, sorry. Did you guys want to weigh in on this? I'm just rapid firing through these. Sorry, I've been busy with the, the gift card things. So I, I'm sorry if I haven't been speaking much, but I did get out three of the five. I have, I, have, I have dinged two of you that I'm still waiting nice. for a, a whispered work, email from. But once I get them, I will definitely send you your earned reward. Congrats again to all our winners. So uh, yeah, I just it, walked back in on this, and I'm not sure what's going on anymore. Any any of our uh, any of our fellow content creators who are still listening, just jump into Vino with Mino, and we'll pull you in if you want to join yeah. us. Uh, Chris, we're just rapid firing questions. This is the only chance. <laughs> Me, to Mino's get. just answering yeah. questions and, off yeah, of podcast just, questions. Just, like you just you you guys left this. This is the biggest backlog I've ever seen podcast <laughs> questions, and I'm just gonna blow through them because it's just last answering random questions. I'm, I'm just rapid firing through. So, oh. so guys, I apologize that I I threw up Mino from my stomach. I I told you guys I ate him, but clearly he's fine. So I'll put him back after this podcast. Mm. Uh, Very true. Who, uh, Asin Tech says, would you ever sell a character's BT weapon for tokens after getting the passive and using the EX plus weapon instead? Uh, shit, dude. That's that's a good question. Me personally, no, because I like to collect. But is that a good meta like move? I no actually no wait wait that's shit we just learned in jp you need the physical burst weapon to get synergy in the new lufania tower so oh. actually, yeah don't don't fucking do that hold on to the bts i don't think it's ever been a good idea to sell the newest tier of weapons yeah I think, right i think jet did that for the ex pluses and <laughs> burst weapons and he regretted it every single time because again they came back and the game was like, no, you actually physically need the fucking weapon. So, yeah, because I remember Jet said he uh, pulled again for wall EX when it came back or something like that. Or one of the B uh, Squall BT was one of them as well. Anyways, Kalute says, since BC and JP is doing fairly well in resources without any foresight at all, how do you decide which resource to use tickets versus gemming? Ah, that's something we can all answer. I, jet I ticket if I am missing two or more weapons on the banner. So this time I didn't have Gabron's weapons and I didn't have Von LD. So boom, ticket pulls. Mm, Sunday, I don't have Machina EX or LD and I don't have Sid EX. So I'm going to go tickets on that. Uh, Gem yeah, actually the Machina banner is enticing for me. I'm probably going to throw a bunch of tickets there. Man, that Machina banner, all I need is the LD or Von BT. So it's going to be a bit of a rough go. I'm going to have a bunch of power stones probably, but I'm going all the way. I'm going to pity that LD. Res Foyna, welcome. How are Hi you guys. doing? Can you hear me okay? We, I can yeah, hear you uh, perfectly. You're doing what's great. Up? Uh, I, I, yeah. How, how are you? How are you? Uh, are you using your gems or your tickets? This month? I uh, I just uh, I recorded a recorded ticket video. I'm in the process mm. of, uh, of editing it. So you guys should see it pretty soon. Very exciting. Very exciting. It's an uh, unpopular opinion, but I will gem pull if I only need one fucking weapon on that banner. So, like, Bosch's coming up. Because I feel like the the plus one bonus on the multis is a greater chance. It is. So, uh, like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna use gems on every protagonist banner forever. Until I have no more gems. No, you're not, you're I have now. so far. Mark, how many gems are you at right I have now? So, I have so far. I've used gems on yeah, every protagonist. I, I'm at 650. 600. I spent 260,000 last month oh and 1,200 tickets. And I, tried, I tried not to call Mark out like these couple of weeks because he's been complaining about his gem luck and, you know, terrible news is relative. But he keeps saying he had this awful month and I've been having worse months <laughs> up to this. Like, are you serious? He was crying about how many gems did you spend last month? 260,000. And that is including pitying a bt 
that yes. everyone says is not worth it, and he himself even acknowledged was a reckless use of gems. So that's including a BT <laughs> pity. So without me, two hundred and ten thousand without the extra fifty thousand. Without and me, didn't it also pity. include like over a thousand tickets? Yeah, twelve hundred tickets with yeah, one I mean, LD. First yeah. of all, don't mix. Second of all, tickets are worthless. And third of all, I've pitied two banners for the last three months, every month. And I'm not even stupidly chasing BT. So, And Mark still has more resources than me. So Mark has no. bowed out nope. of this shut game up. Game nope. Because- so <laughs> my average, I went back over the entirety of EX era, my average gem per weapon that I was going after, whether it was an EX or an LD, is 50,000 gems. So there's no luck. There's no anything. It's it's bad. And my average ticket pull has been about 200. So it's it's just average. Uh, wor- sure. be- worse than average for gems, just about average for tickets for me. So I'm pretty sure the mathematicians have proven that uh, 75K is the average. <laughs> it is not that at all. It is not so at they, all. They fucking mathed it. So if you're averaging 50K pulling what it you is want. Not, it is, is not. It is not at average. all. Somebody, somebody map this. I know Macknell has. It, he has that. done it. It's not seventy five thousand. Fifty thousand is numbers. less than average. I want to see Macknell's numbers. He he'll he will share them with you. <laughs> All right. Next next question. Next, 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 next question. So this is probably a I don't pay enough attention <laughs> issue. But how much of a power bump are character boards even without the LD part? Uh, I think we've discussed this on an older thing. So I'm not. We sure did discuss it when character boards initially released. Yeah, I'm not sure it's how it's a sizable power bump. It's it's huge. about an awakening level. It's no, it's it's more than I would say. So it scales with the amount of summon boards because it is a percentage multiplier. While summon boards are flat numbers, and I would say that character boards are all if when all the summon boards are out, they're equivalent to the summon boards. When LD boards are out, even more important because. No, really, I have been testing characters with and without summon bo- uh, character boards as they've been coming out this last month. It makes such an enormous fucking difference. Ultimisha goes from hitting uh, 2.5k a hit to 9999 a hit in synergy because of character boards. It's fucking massive. So oh, I have to agree because I character board. I couldn't win the challenge quest today. With my Waka until I character boarded him, I go in and try again and win after two like a couple of resets. That's the difference. I I don't know if it was just the RNG blind luck on top of that, but it does make a difference. And like I said before, when I character boarded Onion back when the character boards released, I got an extra two months out of him on off and on events. There was a couple of events I couldn't use him for because of Ice Absorb. But outside of those, he worked. So yeah, they, they, it's noticeable, definitely for sure. Um, which is why it's very worth it, in my opinion, if you can afford it to get the Mog Pass, the baby one. Because those 10K character points from every event really do add up very fast. Rez, you got anything to say about this? Or should um, we have a more interesting question for you? There's some interesting questions here. Sure, I, don't, I feel like I don't really have anything to add to this. Yeah. Character boards do a lot for characters. <laughs> the next question is from a blocked message, so I can't read it, so I'm skipping <laughs> that one. Uh, Al ha- Hazard slash Mistleton says, any it. backup plans for the channel if Discord dies? I don't know, Mark, that's your territory. What? So what? If if Discord, if Discord dies, dies what's that? that? So if, like, if, the, if Discord as a service no longer exists yeah i guess what what will we use um skype i don't <laughs> skype yeah. oh my god sure. no wait the worst ah uh, painful My, microsoft the teams <laughs> oh dude that's <laughs> even worse somehow but it is <laughs> we'll do zoom <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get that fucking image. I can't. The chat is scrolling too fast. Here we go. He says, uh, 35k gems gives you a 50-50 chance of getting an EX. Yeah. Are we talking about EX in the... Wait, and you have a 22% chance. I I don't know what these... these, these, There's too many numbers. So let's just say 
less than 50k average i guess but you know probability is probability i remember the first thing i learned in uh statistics class was my professor said the first thing you the most important thing you need to learn about probability is it's all theoretical and doesn't matter like it's it's just purely for guesswork anyways it's true. next question uh do 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 oh goodness Shit, i lost the questions hold on Oh, here we go. Anomander says, what goes behind the scenes in making a TCC episode? Do you guys do rehearsal of sorts? Yeah. And how many hours are put into character event research, yeah. uh, comedy bits, and editing? Let's tackle this yep. one by one. Character research. Crease, are you here? I think you had to go AFK. Yeah, Crease is AFK for a second. I think Crease said in a previous episode that he only needs about 10 minutes to read over the kits on database and uh, yeah. infographics to kind of get his summary down so he takes about five ten minutes <laughs> per character or so um mark do you put any time into this no, i don't i don't even play this game <laughs> i could tell i've not, I've, i haven't played this game for two and a half years i'm just i'm just gliding off of uh, i'm just gliding off all of you people is this a is this a mobile game <laughs> When I when I used to play this game, uh, way too much. Couple of couple of hours of way too much into a character. I don't know why, uh, but yes. But and then when it comes to the comedy bits, I actually ninety five percent of my jokes are like rehearsed. scripted. Yeah, you no no seriously. Kind of you guys ever you guys ever have those conversations in your head? You're like, haha, the next time somebody says this, I got the perfect retort and it's gonna be this. And that's what I yeah. do, and it just it all rolls out. Like I bait people into saying something. Like, uh, what did I do this episode? What did I fucking bait? Um no. Well this is the, the entire podcast is completely scripted. Um, rehearsed three or four times, uh, just like Russ Foyna's pull videos, completely scripted. Totally. Um, you know, she knows what she's getting because content creators, of course, we have <laughs> some special uh, sway with squecks, and so we get you know free polls and three stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so um, you know, we, it's all it's all smoke and mirrors. It's all movie magic. It, you know, it's very very editing, well rehearsed. How long does editing take you? Um, depends on which computer I'm using, because <laughs> uh, it's not, it wasn't good for a while, but, um, yeah, I, I don't edit the show. It doesn't, whatever. Yeah. You tell, because I remember all the parts I say, edit this out, and then I listen to <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> out. Exactly. I, I was like, I was like, Mark, we had a power surge in the middle of the show. Are you going to splice these together? And he's like, I'm going to do something. I don't fucking know. So yeah, I, I, uh, I, I edit everything on um, 35 millimeter. Uh, and so I splice it together and then I, I re-digitize it. Um, so I take the digital, I put it on 35 and then I re-digit. I think just the quality is better. Very truthfully, I'm... Um, yeah, it's uh yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, so it's really 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 easy. No, I I think we've said it so many so many times we we put um we put a lot more time in the podcast than we actually do playing the game. <laughs> I, I it's kind of true. Hey, that's true. That is so <laughs> true. Look, I I have since I have ADHD, I have to like prep like what I'm going to kind of say for certain sections, because otherwise like I will completely donk and not do it. Like I'll be thinking about it like the whole time. Like, okay, make sure you say this thing. Uh, -uh It doesn't happen. Like, and, I, and then I go, man, I should have like the first few times I did podcasting with, with, the, with you guys, I was sitting there thinking, man, I forgot to say that thing. Next time I'm going to have to write that one down before I come on the show. And finally I started doing this, you know, especially since Mino was on hiatus. I was like, uh Oh, I have to like actually, like be a serious host you know so i might want to, so i've been taking the job like a lot more seriously and kind of making sure i prepare and that's why i hope i'm getting across most of the points i've really been trying to wanting to say when i actually come on these past few weeks i used to write shit down i don't do 
Yep, so so we're we're talking about that. So Rez, like how long you're you're working on a pull video right now. So uh you know, if, mm-hmm. if you don't know, Rez Foyna does great pull videos. So how long how long obviously the pulling takes some time, but <clears throat> how long does the editing process of making a pull video take you? Honestly, for DFFO, I don't do too much editing for it. So I'd say depending on how long the pull video is, uh anywhere from like 20 minutes to two hours depending yeah. on depending on the video the poll battles take a lot longer to edit so it's funny i it. yeah the poll battles uh I take a lot more but jin lee can do that so <laughs> the, he, the, he does he does the main edits but i add the drinking montages I, I know, and the highlights and stuff and that Same that thing. takes it takes, it takes more time than I originally expected it to take, but it's always it's fun to throw those in. And it definitely I, does depend on your your equipment. Uh, oh yeah. You know. When when Mark said we for sure spend more time on the podcast and playing the game, I know that's true for Rez as well because I watch her videos and they're like 20, 30 minute videos, and it's like ten minutes of pulling, I think. And then the rest is of her talking into the camera. I don't think I've seen her record actual gameplay in <laughs> more than half a year at this point. I'm not even sure how she gets her job. Making videos point, for like half this, a year. At this point, at this just, point, she could just be buying every just, single gem. I wouldn't know because I've never seen any never gameplay played. or like any content. Com- I don't even <laughs> see the main menu where it says chapters complete or events complete. It's just the full screen just, and her talking into. So I know for sure she also spends more it's, time. It's not even her account. She no, just takes it off. Of i time playing the game. I just don't. I just don't film a lot of it. I only film. I've my never course, heard but... you talk about. <laughs> <laughs> any event or character other than whether you got their weapon and i remember oh. when you guessed on the show i don't think you did, you comment on the kids at lulu you did a fantastic job that was a great write-up so i know the last time you played the game at least definitely lulu game, was lc which was eight months ago but uh you know since then i don't think i've heard you talk about the game at all so i'm actually curious uh how much time you spend playing the game nowadays? A lot. I'm playing it right now. I mean, last time I was on the show, I was going through some personal stuff and didn't really, couldn't really talk that much. But no, I I play the game plenty. Trust me. And and the funny thing is, I still doubt Rez because she told me <laughs> there's a lot of other gotcha games like Fire Emblem Heroes that she legit does not play, and she just logs on to collect the daily rewards so she can pull every couple of months. No, I would not be surprised. <laughs> I play those her. games. How do you yeah, think I get those oh, resources? I, How do you think daily, I get those resources? Daily, you just have to kill one cactar a day, and you're getting, you can get a pity in like two months or something. Yes, so. that's a, that's the only thing. That's the only thing that I do. No, of course I play the game. The only thing that I've missed was the challenge quest uh, the other night, the Shantoto challenge quest, because I procrastinated too long. But other than that, I've completed every single piece of content. Magnus talking a lot of shit in chat, but he's not coming into voice chat. Like I don't know, like why just. You come in and say your piece, Mac. No, if you got something. Black Cloud, uh, Black Cloud, welcome. Um, what oh, did right, what right. did uh, shows me on the screen? I couldn't sneak in. What what welcome. did uh, what did Von LD cost you? Did you get the BT? Nope. Uh, I mm. want to say it took like three hundred eighty something tickets. Oof. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's whatever. Yeah. Now you do your videos in in one uh, continuous uh, take, so that saves some time. I've been trying to not do that lately. Because I, th- I think I hit 600 subscribers earlier this week, and I, I think I should. I was asking for advice. That's that's why I joined. Because you guys are talking about editing your pull videos, mm. and I literally, <laughs> I uploaded a half hour of me using tickets in silence. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I've I've been honestly I've been just A/B testing what people like and don't like, and I've just been leaving a burst orb as a thumbnail, yep. whether I get it or not. Yep, and I mean, seeing what happens. That's that's I mean, see, good quality. People have been saying that they like streams and you said you do that and i don't think you've streamed in months so yeah i don't feel like it yeah my my most viewed video was the uh was was the uh mark tcc chasing squaw ldbt with right a thumbnail of the which i got from you because i hadn't had a burst token at that point (laughs) so i got that from black cloud uh just a thumbnail of that with me making funny faces on the picture that's a 36 minute video i love that video (laughs) it's so long um I, I guess that's not as not as uh, not as viewed as my tier list video. That is the most the most viewed. 
That tier list video is also stellar. <laughs> you go, go go back. You can still it's still true, still true, still very very true, um, very true. So yeah, I'm just uh, trying to crack the code between effort versus views. <laughs> Once I find that golden ratio, there I'll you set. go. <laughs> so hey, speak of the devil. Yeah, Macnel. Macnel. Stalling on questions. I gotta push forward and you guys weigh in <laughs> if you have important answers. No one cares about your questions. BNQ BNQ asks, so in a million years when they run out of FF characters, yeah. uh bar let's say uh Brave Exvius characters mm. and maybe FF Dimensions, do y'all think they'll move on to other square titles? Something like Chrono Trigger? Imagine uh Aya Brea as a character. Secret of um, Secret of Mana um uh near yeah we gotta get some uh laura croft when's laura croft coming in this one Wait, i mean like there's just so many final fantasy titles like they still could go through it would take you know how many you know how many name chocobos there are you know there how many so, name well, chocobos so many there's so many games they still don't even have a representative for like <laughs> somebody just mentioned my game final fantasy mystic quest mystic quest yeah shout out uh you know we don't have anything for for that um that four <laughs> warriors of light game wasn't that a final fantasy game on the ds you know it yeah. kind of looked like it had like the uh, style for like yeah there's dimensions uh, yeah. i mean i guess so crossover with record keeper and night Raven. night is dark yes night is dark full of terrors uh brings up a very good point the uh, most powerful of all Final Fantasy characters, Ar Ariana Grande, is uh, is not yet in it. So uh, until we get Miss um, Grande, it's uh, you know there's there's still places to go. So that's what I say. Yeah. yeah well, do you have any thoughts on this? <laughs> yeah, my thought is uh, please let uh, Aya Brea rest. Come on, don't you think the third birthday has already done enough damage to her? Yeah. Wait, did she did she make it into Brave Exvius? I think she did, right? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't play like I don't know. <laughs> uh, either way, like Arrow said, there's a million fucking FF characters, but then money is king. Who knows what they'll do? I don't care. Uh, I mean, FFRK hasn't run out of F. Oh, shit, they have crossovers too, though. They have so many crossovers. Not as many as um, Final Fantasy Brave crossovers, but. Okay, what happens if you luck sack a BT on a banner mm. that doesn't include the LD? Uh, we get asked this a lot. Transient Ye memory asks, in general, how inclined are you to chase or pity the LD on the original LD banner? How much would you prioritize getting a fully equipped and viable BT unit, considering how uh, Lufania Tower will, in all likelihood, heavily press players that have multiple BT units? Well, I know Macknell was just fucking talking about this today. <laughs> So we'll go in descending order of biggest hoarder to least hoarder. So Magnol, <laughs> uh, you you had a lot of thoughts on this. So why don't you share them on the air? Yeah, for sure. Uh, first thing I'm gonna say is if it happens to you and you still have the LD banner available, count yourself lucky. Count your blessings. You still have the option of chasing the LD because uh, today the exact same thing happened to a friend of mine. He pulled the burst, but for Shantoro. Oh, and her weapon, her LD Ouch. is already gone. It wasn't nice. He he's not happy about it. He really really got mad at the game, and I feel for him. I I would feel feel the same because it sucks. You he, forever be haunted by a half-assed character. You now the the final banner in the cycle. When the final banner launches, you will still be able to go back and get the LD. But if you wait a few days, you in like in the situation you're saying, you could possibly lose the uh, chance to go back. So if you want to pull on that final banner, you got to pull on it the full first day. Um, but, you know, people need more resources, play the game, go back. Yeah, that that's a that's a slippery slope. So that sucks. That sucks. Jin Lee, what do you think? What do you think about all I'm that? here for the giveaways. I'm here yeah, for the giveaways. It's, um, <laughs> it's uh, exclamation point raffle. So, uh, Ray Aki right. is asking if they're, they've had a protagonist's LD um, rerun in JP yet. That is a good question. I think besides the starter banner, uh, have there been BC? Do you know? Kuja. Kuja LD has rerun. Okay. Yes. That's that's, that's good to know. Yeah. And then for the starter banners, obviously it was Squall, Cloud, and uh, Lightning. Although his, his BT didn't rerun. Only his LD. Right, right, right. Uh, but I mean, LDs are rare because you can go back with the BT tokens, you know. But um, 
to answer Macknell's friend situation is that I, it feels silly to get upset that you lucked into a BT you weren't planning to because just if sell you it. You're going to build that character in the first place. This is extra, right? And then, like Mark said, you can sell, it, sell it as it. progress towards a BT you actually want. So it just feels like extra. I don't think you should have that FOMO and be like, "Oh shit, I missed out," because that's how there's they the you. problem in your reasoning. He okay. did want the BT. He tried oh. chasing the LD in her original mm. banner, and he missed it. He ah. had her purple, he built her, he's only missing the LD. That's Oof. rough. That sucks. That, that, that is very suck. rough. That's I, right. I think, yeah, I mean, I think, again, it's it's easy to say as someone who has tons of resources, but yeah, you almost <laughs> have to go, you, know, you almost have to go, if you want the character, you almost have to go ready to pity the LD, and then you know maybe try to get the BT over over some time, and then yeah, the last time if you don't get the BT, you know if you're just kind of playing for it, I, yeah, I, I you you get you you can't wait on that, um, and you have to kind of let it skip. So yeah, uh, for me, I, I guess I probably if I don't hate the character, I'd go back for the LD. Sure, I would hope I have enough resources. That would be the other thing. Do I want it enough? And do I have enough resources? Okay, first of all, you guys fucked up my order. We're going hey. descending order of yeah. hoarders. So after Magnol was supposed to be BC, BC, you have a million oh. resources. How do you handle this? That's I will destroy you, you, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you at now? One mil? He's, he's got more than most no. of us. He's got more than both of us. <laughs> yeah, he's got, because Telute, do I? Literally, Telute I thought you did. me on a weekly I basis. I don't know. I actually I don't keep count of what you other people are doing liar. in the game. No, shut we up. Do. Well, we, shut up. The two Talute of us do. Talute tells me every fucking <laughs> week. He says, "Why are you competing with Mark? The real enemy is Black Cloud." Exactly. He has more resources than all. Exactly. No, he says, "No, I can read it." He says, "Black Cloud has more resources than everyone, but he's keeping it on the down low. Like he keeps saying he doesn't hoard, but he yeah. has more resources." Black Cloud has claimed. Black Cloud has claimed no yeah. summon board treasures. Are you serious? He 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 what? doesn't claim he doesn't claim anything in the game that is. <laughs> wow, what's that like? Just, that was like, a Mino <laughs> level lie. You <laughs> <have learned> <laughs> well. <laughs> like I heard that he can. He even had the Mac the Mino inflection right there. That was perfect. Oh, this is bullshit, <laughs> right? <laughs> Who but, didn't have that? That's what interesting. The hell was that? Was that a, it sounded like. It. Going to the dentist. Okay, I, I will clear something. I have not used gems since Aranea, but I planned my pulls out and, and got lucky to the point where I coasted during the Chaos Era off a lot of the AX I already have. So I've been purpling a shit ton of characters. Uh, and I always said, once I run out of tickets, I will use gems. And I'm under 400 tickets, so I'm going to use gems on Machina. It's just that simple. Yeah. So, so this I is know, not hoarding. This is this is the reality. So, this is this is what the ultra rich want. They want they want the minos and the black clouds and the the marks, the working man, to fight amongst each other, so they can sit back, <laughs> so they can sit back with their million and a half gems and just laugh at us. Um, Magno pulls with more tickets and he does gems. That's like Bill Gates going to the supermarket and using coupons. Like it's disgusting, <laughs> and you're killing the economy. I'm dying. Uh, I'm I am dying. gambling. <laughs> That's what's happening. I've been gambling and I've been paying off, but it won't last, and I don't expect it to. But I am certainly not avoiding things because I'm I'm the one telling people to pull all the time, pull, and I do man, it. Pull. Yeah, he tells everybody else to pull all the time. You heard it right here. Like, right. I've, like, I've, I've spent probably over this past I, do. I know that dirty trick. I like, pulled on everybody. every banner last month except Ami. Actually, that's not even true. I pulled on that banner and didn't get anything. I think I spent like 100000 this month. Like It's been pretty intense. But it's been good, so... I I, yeah, Rez has my favorite uh, Arrested Development joke, but Rez, you do poll videos. Why am I entertaining this? <laughs> you, you, why don't you weigh in, Rez? Like, this is this is your this is your 100% DFFOO career is pulling, so tell us the secrets. Uh, it's like, like too, 90%. Right? 90%. Wow, that was savage. <laughs> um... Also, who, who, who was that that appreciated the Arrested Development joke? Because props. Um... So, yeah, I uh, I guess, I don't know, if I were 
Wait, what was the question again? I don't remember. I'm not even lit. I just, a lot has <laughs> happened. You just, uh, you have probably the least amount of gems of the people on right now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. What's everybody's gem uh, count right now? It's, uh, well, yeah, let's, let's, let's <clears throat> I, I think it's I think it's it's uh from from top to bottom. Let me let me just guess the people who are on from top to bottom. It's Macknell has the most. Then Def then DC, right? Black Cloud. I'm not sure what Jin's count is, but I think it's Macknell, Black Cloud, Jin Lee. They're close. Then oh, me, oh, Mino, oh, oh, Arrow, no, I've always Rez. had less than you. Are you were. low? Are you slower than me? Gems I have. You were you were over me just because I know I watched your last pull video, so I knew you were at like seven fifty. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so Jin's ahead of us now. Fuck. I only have like three hundred and seven. Well, Mark, don't you have like a billion tickets and summer boards? I have a few tickets. I spent twelve hundred tickets last month, so I'm down under a thousand, maybe over a thousand. I have a few tickets. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> I have almost 700 now. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Get out of here. I got to make sure I keep around 200. So I was right. I've I got, got about I 125K for my boy Fury. I was so right, 100%. Under that. I was 100% correct. How sad correct. is it that, like, that Arrow and I have the, least, have the least amount of gems out of everybody here right oh. now? have a drinking problem so i understand <laughs> i don't have you probably problem. spend a lot of gems that you don't intend to actually no there's video proof of you passing your quotas you're like i'm only gonna pull this much and then every that's video. only for tickets i only there's, do that for tickets what about now with the projection again. yeah uh, what about uh, now did yeah, you, we're not. Did we don't. We don't, you don't you tickets? we don't talk about after so why saying. is this a discussion <laughs> Who cares? I, like, like, you know, the Lux Tax could end for any of us at any time. Just keep it in mind. So don't look <laughs> down on people or uh, for their gym counts. Because one oh, day they could be yeah, under you and then you could be under them. Jesus, I feel pe people. sorry for people who are less lucky right now. Because yeah. they're, they're looking at our gym counts and comparing it. It doesn't matter. Agree, Luck yeah, evens out, guys. Yeah, next question. Want to, <laughs> to legitimately lost. answer the question, though, I mean, like... I don't remember the question. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't actually, like... I would spend all of the resources I want to get the uh, weapon before oh. the LD banner goes away. Yeah. I mean, yeah, on the burst problem, banner. My problem is I choose the number of resources that I want, and then I ignore the number that I choose, and I just, I just keep going. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's it's unclear. <gasps> right, which is fine if you're doing if you it for every uh, featured LD. <laughs> I don't go for if... every featured LD. I don't. <laughs> Just don't keep pulling on the Bursa banner when the LD banner has gone away. If you want the LD from that character, yeah, no, no, no. Very. That serious. was the quest. That was the question, pretty much. When it comes to LD weapons, do you think we'll eventually get something? Uh, like dimensions and order that will feature LD tokens for an eventual shop mm. we can pick. Uh, yeah, I think that's a no-brainer. I think you know, eventually when the next tier comes out, there's always going to be a guaranteed way to get old tier. Uh, we see that with EX tokens now. And well, we already have a burst shop. Yeah, I mean, it seems silly. Like, why wouldn't we have a? You know, if you can buy a a burst weapon at some point, why why won't you be able to get a LD weapon, right? For for oh, your ultra a... ultra Moogle pass, give me some LD oh, tokens. <laughs> This is an actually good question. Ascentic says, Sarah and El Aerith LDs are part of a seasonal event in JP and additional synergy for overlapping events, making them prime candidates for time travel. Do you think we will see any other time traveling given how burst character and challenge quest synergy would be affected? Uh, BC, do you want to take this one first? All right, BC's dead. Uh, I had to find my mute, but uh, Sarah... <laughs> I don't. I don't think they'll fast forward Sarah because she'd be ass right now. In <laughs> uh, Aerith is really good for Ramos. So I don't think they fast forward her. Aside from that, I don't think there's anyone I can. I can't think of anyone who could fast forward to begin with. So I mean, nah. Don't don't get your hopes up. Since this air, since this year started, we've seen far less time traveling than we ever have before. I really don't think it's in Square's best interest to give us more synergy characters for uh yeah. dicks and uh cqs um i'm pretty sure this formula is working uh there was a comparison of 
this time in JP last year compared to this time in global last year. And the spending in JP was almost double because I think LDs and CQs are really fucking working. <laughs> like they are really getting people to spend. And I really don't think time tra I think time traveling is going to be so, so rare. We've got what two time travel characters in 2020. Mm -hmm. It was like Dazzle and Kane. And then yep. Kane was complete shit anyways. And, oh. uh, so like you know it, it bothers me why couldn't they have time traveled more of these characters like these last ex plus characters then they could have still just been synergy for their events like vv uh, no one cares about maria v. that's not oh. what i'm talking about love i'm talking about what god <laughs> and, and wait what wow. I, I, I care about marina maria for maria reasons. maria <laughs> Reason. And, and hey. she's gonna be pretty good when she comes, okay? Because okay, uh huh. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, I think she'll be all right. She's not gonna be special. She will. But she'll be all right. I see. Well, but no one cares about her. No, that's not how that's I expected a, a time travel. I expected Laguna, <laughs> Laguna or or Dancred had maybe time traveled by now, but I guess they're just not gonna do it. I just didn't understand why they didn't do Dan it. Dancred time traveled once already. I feel like they should just yeah. let him time travel again. Ain time traveled like three fucking times, guys. Did we forget? People care about guys. Kane. I, yeah, that's Dude, that time traveling fan could was amazing when he came. <laughs> and then I go back and watch the videos now, and I'm like, wow, what was I thinking? <laughs> but no, he was pretty, he was really good for real. Uh, Star Shadow says, with a noticeable absence of an alternate costume for Ultimisha, even with her LC out now, do you guys think this is an increased possibility that Adea will be her own character in DFFOO? God, I hope not. Uh, Mark? Uh, I hope so someday. I'm sorry. I'm playing. I'm playing other mobile games. I don't. What's this? What's this game? <laughs> I gotta. I gotta play some Crystal Chronicles. Um, I hope so. Her attacks are just so different. So that'd be I don't nice. Get it? I don't understand the obsession with a day. It's the same fucking character. It's an alternate. She's color. not. She's not Wait, the same did, character. Did we... Wasn't there can you name an Adea quote from FF8? Because I don't think you can. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> she no, said that I'm thing. I'm really lost now. I'm sorry. That, she said that thing that one, that one time. She said uh, squally to a grins. She said... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember that time that she said that thing? You must fight to the end. To protect others. I mean, not even the cast remembers her. Know, she's totally she's literally an Ultimisha skin. Why? Like, why would people be upset if Ultimisha got that skin? She's literally an Ultimisha I don't know. skin. I don't know. People have weird fandoms. What I've realized about the DFFOO community is they like characters they know nothing about. So uh -huh. people like Kais and Desh and uh, fucking Arciella and Amid Italian, the less unknown these characters are, the more popular they are. Because if you know a character, there's something to hate. But if you don't, you just build them up in your fucking head, you know? Wait, so wait, wait. I actually know who Desh is, and um, I think more people probably played FF3 than they have FF11. So, um, and I still don't think many people pulled for Desh. I haven't seen many in co-ops. I'm just saying, like, when I did the co-op for... for oh, because he, he there, fucks in his own co-op. I'd rather use uh, Toto or Opal. Right, like, I saw so many more Totos and Onions... And heck, I think I even saw more Yongs. It's it's bad. There was like nobody playing Dash in that co-op. It, it's He's weird. He's in that co-op. He doesn't do enough damage. Uh, Total can paralyze him down, so she's infinitely more useful. I was I'm, using Dash at first. And I, I yeah, switched, I'm so. still sticking by it, though. I don't think very many people actually pull for Pajama Man. Okay. There's a super unknown character that everyone's going to pull for coming up. Kurosame. Guarantee you. Guarantee you when he rolls around, there's going to be a lot of fucking hype. Hey, I, I play Type uh, Zero, so I can say I'm a uh, fan now. I mean, right, he's I badass, too, though. Big fan. He's Ice Cloud, although he does nothing in the game. All right, so I'm going to give Kurosame <laughs> some credit. He has the cute man factor going on, oh, so many God. females will pull for him oh, just for God. that alone. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Great. That's, that, that's, that's worse. I wish I didn't know that. Uh, I'm glad I let you know that. Inkwelder says, which characters, excluding FF3 for obvious reasons, are most likely to be Furion's brother? Um, I think this stemmed no. from the fact that 
Ink while their thought ink th- while their thought Dash was from Final yeah. Fantasy Two. Yeah, yeah. Dash looks yeah, like Furion's that's brother. Pretty funny. Dash and Leon are like the same character. They pretty much. Who else looks like oh, them? Bancred. Bancred is Furion's brother. Look at the hair mm. and the eyes. They're the same color. You no, know, Onion Knight is literally Furion's little brother. They have the same poofy white hair, and he comes from the game yeah. after him. So. Yeah, you know, even Warrior of Light, you know, that not obviously the warrior skin, but the actual <laughs> warrior skin. Is, that, that's an interesting point because, like, look, look, wow, in 14, the, the characters that the are human, yeah. why do so many of them have white hair and brown eyes? What's up with that? Is, is warrior there, of the, Light, Furion, Onion Knight, and then Cecil. Cecil. Wow, I never noticed that. It's that's because crazy. It's because those four games are the same game. They're the exact same that game. <laughs> Does that mean Gallus is a Warrior of Light, too? Yeah. He is, yeah. Light? Yes. Okay. Look, yeah, I mean, he's the Dawn Warrior. See? All right, Macknell, this next question is for you. Hope Starter says, How will you handle TCC challenges for Lufania when it comes to GL? <laughs> I have no idea. Ask me when Lufania comes. That's how it's always worked. Oh, there so you have it. Yeah. Do you have any inkling of uh, the basics you're going to throw down? No, what we've been talking about is. Uh, like uh, it's standard right now, but continue with the no burst rule as long as we can, and of course banning synergy. That might so, be enough to be a challenge. Banning synergy—that's tough. But I, I, I'm no longer on the team. But if I may make a suggestion, how about taking a, each Lufania orb once uh, for each Lufania fight? Like that should be a basic, right? Along with the no, no you die. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't yeah. work. <laughs> yeah, obviously you you gotta you gotta eat one. Um. Yeah, yeah. We got a we got a question from Taco. Uh, Taco asks, "What is each host's the the post show people who are on tonight? Uh, what are what are your crystal colors? If you had to choose a crystal color, what would your crystal color be? Arrow, <laughs> green. Well, green, black cloud, black, <laughs> black. Good, 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 good." <laughs> Um, uh, oddly enough, mine is white, but it's a different thing. Jin, uh, what's <laughs> mine would be gold, obviously. Gold, good, or good. That's not one. Yeah, that's, that's not. not it's not one we have, but okay. Um, I mean, yellow, obviously. I call it gold because it's actually gold. Okay, it's Mac- actually gold. Macknell, Macknell, do you have a? It's like people who say purple crystals. Learn to read. It says black know. right there. Black, <laughs> maybe? Okay. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. Rez, Rez, do you have a preferred crystal color? Blue. Blue. Very nice. Uh, so, Mino, you can take red. That's the only unrepresented color. I mean, that's true. He's the devil. I'm going <laughs> to decide the same way the devs do. So, I'm going to roll this dice. Okay. Six sided. Wow, yes. I heard the die. That's hilarious. It's, it's a four sided did. dice, but uh, you percentile. I actually do everything I say I do, BC. Uh-huh. I'm 100% honest. Stop spreading. I, I heard the dice roll. He, he really did roll a dice. That was, uh, that was his dice rolling app, oddly enough. Uh, yeah, makes makes that sound. I have. I, I have a literal bag of dice right there. here. I said red. I mean, green. I mean, whatever. Oh, you don't, you don't care. Yeah. He's all the colors. He's rainbow. <laughs> With right, within well, reach here, I've got uh, I've got a large bag of dice. So if we need to roll in dice, fucking question, so I can go to sleep. Inkwelder <laughs> again. Why does Inkwelder ask so many goddamn questions? He's trolling me on purpose. This is my this is revenge for when every time he put a suggestion in main court, I downvoted. Well, it. there's a reason we haven't answered any of them for the last <laughs> four weeks. <laughs> Inkwelder says, "Are spheres that inflict debuffs like Tidus, Ultimisha, etc. Now the very worst spheres available?" Debuff slot real estate has never Oof. been tighter. Macknull and these fear debuffs can inadvertently push off an imperil debuff, which is far more important. Are reset stones perfect for this, or should you just destroy the sphere because it's that bad now? Mm. Uh, I think that's that's a uh, no. Yeah, Macknull, was... Macknull with his fucking Oof. debuff defenses. I really don't think. I I think everything I said objectively about uh, what's his face today was on the money. Like I'm. Like I feel like those are logical uh, arguments about how Gabron needs a stupid fucking amount of conditionals for his debuffs, Macknell. But please tackle this shitty ass debuff sphere question. Yeah, uh, I'll answer uh, objectively. Debuffs are so good, 
you actually want to have so many of them, you run out of space. Yeah. That's enough for me. Yep. There you go. Hate them. Can, ha <laughs> can you ever have too many debuffs? No. Yeah, you'll, Grabranth will never have a problem if you just are constantly applying debuffs with every single attack. So everyone should have debuff spears. I think that's... I think that's the lesson. Well, there's actually a chat. I was here fucking shitting on him all night. I didn't know he was actually here. I, I thought he always listened back to the playback. But um, Inkwelder says if he had to pick a crystal color, it would be a primary color like blue because he doesn't mix. <laughs> uh, so, wow. He's uh, so bad. Edo, says, Edo says if TCC Podcast is having a meet and greet, where will they order pizza from? Oh, I, what the fuck kind of question? I guess you guys are talking about that's an class. excellent, that's an excellent question. Well, it will be probably most like likely that. in the uh, suburbs of Chicago, so we'll order good pizza, real pizza. Inkwalder's not here to defend him, his blasphemy. Uh, uh, I I see, live I, I, I I live a couple blocks from Aurelio's, so uh, you know we just might get some Aurelio's. I've heard of a place called Your Pie down here in downtown where I live. That's probably where I guess if we met where I live. Sure, that's where we go cuz I, I I think local, you know, joints when you're meeting I up still, with people is the way to go. We didn't have this conversation um but there is this place in Lincoln Park uh by Lincoln Park Zoo which is in Chicago. Uh there's this place in Lincoln Park neighborhood that I think it's called the Chicago Pizza un, pizza oven or pizza grinder oven something like that and they make pizza pot pies. It's been featured on some you know national food stuff. But uh, yeah, it's like a new thing. But the line is, you have, there's no reservations. The line's always out the door. Not probably now, but um, but yeah, in Lincoln, yeah, Lincoln Park, like the band. No, like Lincoln Park in the neighborhood where the zoo is, Lincoln Park. Um, but uh, apparently, yeah, they make pizza pot pies. Apparently, they're freaking amazing. So um, yeah, Olive Garden has an excellent chicken alfredo pizza. <laughs> And unlimited unlimited breadsticks. Did you guys see the comment section on, our, <laughs> on last week's episode? You guys started... The two people were arguing about whether Italy or Chicago had better pizza. Like, that's the kind of shit you guys stir. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. There's a pizza to me, man. I mean, I'll even eat the kind of crappy pizza. Like, I don't know. It's pizza's pizza. I'm not very discriminatory as long as the toppings are things I like. See, I, I feel like, you know, it, I've, I've been to Italy. I've had Italian pizza. It's amazing. It's great. But, you know, I, I feel like the, the, the Chicago pizza or the uh, New York pizza, excuse me, the New York pizza, the Chicago pizza, what Inkwalder was talking about, the you go, you pick up a slice, you go hang out on the boulevard or whatever New Yorkers do, or in Italy, you go just, you do things with the streets and the people and you say ciao a lot and you talk with your hands i didn't speak any of the language but just talked with my hands a lot and seemed to communicate well to everybody um and it's just a thing you grab a slice of pizza you go but that that's like that's a food it tastes good but it, go, it goes in my face and keeps me going for for a couple hours Chicago pizza is like uh, experience, right? You sit, yeah. you wait, you sh you fellowship. There's there's laughter, there's drinking, there's tastes explosion. It's 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 a whole experience. It's not like I'm not going to get a cup of Starbucks coffee and like going to you know have a Friends episode, right? This is like a this is like a <laughs> episode of The Sopranos. I mean, there's a whole storyline that goes into a, a slice of Chicago pizza. So, uh, and, was, it, and both are good. Both are beautiful. Good. There was a place that in, in Indiana that I used to live by that if you pay ten dollars you can have all you can eat pizza. It was the I most think, uh, shit pizza ever, but we would uh, love it because you, you could just eat as much as you want. It, you ate there? It, it was called CC's, correct? Are you talking about CC's exactly. pizza? CC's pizza. CC's pizza. Yes. CC's pizza. Yeah. Do not do yeah. They have dessert pizza. And yeah. They have dessert pizza good. too. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> It's, it's all about the price. First of all, all if, uh, if we're going to talk about pizza buffets, it's the pizza ranch only. Um, <laughs> but, but, but yeah, see, 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 see no. it's like eight bucks and you get yeah, the it's, drink it's and ridiculous. the buffet. It's, it's ridiculous. insane. Like, the, 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 like, the, amount, the amount of crap that was in that pizza must have been horrendous Like because speaking, it was so cheap. Speaking yeah. of, cheap. Speaking, of uh, speaking of horrible stuff, so in Indiana... Um, 
so there there's a there's a I think it's called Fazuli's. It's a it's like a chain Italian oh, yeah, fast food restaurant. So so we stopped. I, I it's something like that. So we stopped at a you know I try not to stop in Indiana when I'm driving through because Indiana. Um, <laughs> and oh so God. so we stopped at like a truck stop or something like a Oasis, and they had this kind of Fazoli's. And so so I got like the Fazoli's. It's like a it's like a McDonald's, but it's an Italian McDonald's, right? And you get so I got it was like seven ninety nine combo and it was um, uh, chicken or a little uh, Alfredo fettuccine Alfredo spaghetti and lasagna so again this is like a McDonald's combo so this is like so I got like a pop I got uh, some Alfredo fettuccine Alfredo some spaghetti and marinara sauce and a piece of lasagna and a breadstick and a salad and they asked well you get with that you get a side would you like um would you like fries or a slice of pizza and so then i got a slice of pizza so i got a pizza and a salad and a breadstick and fettuccine alfredo and spaghetti and lasagna and a coke (laughs) and it was 7.99 and then i died um <laughs> pretty much uh and i i am at, i mean pasta is cheap let's just be honest about it but um it was not the best quality things i've ever had uh i'm just gonna say but it's cheap and when you're poor um fazoli's yes uh free breadsticks free breadsticks god bless the free breadsticks Holy i think shit. What the fuck? This was a question about pizza on a DFFOO podcast. How this the is the post you? show. Have, where have you been? Where have you been the last few? I I even, on... I'm out of time to cover the rest of the fucking question. So again, we never made it past the cleaning out the questions channel. I have to go now, but Mark, you guys can continue the discussion. But um, goodbye, everybody. Uh, last time ever, Arrow is taking my spot now. Arrow, you better fucking uh, up your criticism game. I swear to shit. Uh, I, I, I did it today, and it was perfect, I thought. Well, the best you've probably seen yet, at least. Okay, but <laughs> good night, guys. Have fun on the post show. I gotta <laughs> go uh, get some alcohol for yourself. See you, Mina. Right. See you, right, Mina. Guys. Oh goodness, goodness! Well, I, I too, uh, need to <laughs> finish up the post show. Uh, the I 12th. can't believe this has gone three uh, hours and yeah. sixteen um, minutes, uh, and, and get the actual show out there. So, all right, uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you, Jin Lee. Check out Jin Lee on YouTube. Uh, thank you, Macknell, to CityInfo.com. Thank you, Black Cloud, Black Nero on YouTube. Thank you, Resfoina, Resfoina on Twitch and YouTube. All of you listening to the post show, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, thank you to Arrow, Mino, Crease. And thank you to me. I'm so great. Uh, we'll, we'll see you all next week. Thank you Mark all. Mark is great. Say, I am great. Uh, thank you all. And thank you at Pocket Jokers uh, for the giveaways. But uh, hey, uh, thank you all for joining us live for the pre-show, the post-show, the mid-show, uh, and whatever whatever your favorite part of the show is. Thank you for being with us. We'll talk to you all later. Have a good one. <laughs>